I'm Noelle. And I'm Zach, and this is your weekly news. Your books are now on sale. Students can purchase these at the school website or in A303. They are $65, which is the lowest price of the year. Students can personalize their book with a name stamp for an additional $15. Parking pass applications are now available outside the bank. In order to receive your parking pass, the bank needs a completed application, license, proof of insurance, and $20 cash or check made payable to LHS. Student Council will hold voting for homecoming court this Thursday through next Friday. Class officer elections will be held September 15th and 16th. If you are interested in a class office position, please go see Ms. Robertson in B213. August 31st was International Overdose Awareness Day. We were invited to the official reading of the proclamation to name this day Wilson County Overdose Awareness Day by County Mayor Randall Hutto. After this, YPC members handed out prescription drug disposal kits at the Lowe's in Lebanon. Hello, we are YPC Wilco, and we are here today to talk a little bit about International Overdose Day. International Overdose Day is August 31st. It is held annually to discuss the different types of overdose, the signs, and how to prevent it. Here's what we know. First, overdose doesn't discriminate. That's right. It could be someone's mom, their dad, their brother, or their sister, or anyone really. And next, overdose death is preventable. Can you recognize the symptoms of an overdose? Just because you get no response does not mean that the person is asleep. And seeking help isn't just for when someone is unconscious. You should also seek help if they're having a seizure or a severe headache. If they're experiencing se severe chest pain, breathing difficulties, are confused, agitated, and do not ignore gurgling or snoring. Do you know how to respond to an overdose? An overdose is a medical emergency that requires immediate medical attention. You should always call an ambulance if you suspect that someone has overdosed. Narcan is used by paramedics to revive somebody that has had an overdose. Drug Free Wilco holds monthly Narcan training meetings, and you can follow the Drug Free Wilco Facebook page or go to drugfreewilco.org for more information. YPC is also looking for members, and if you are interested in joining, please contact Officer McPeak or the Club Vice President Brett McPeak for details. The Youth Prevention Coalition, a division of Drug Free Wilco. I've heard. I've heard that the weather is going to clear up for our Labor Day weekend. Here's BDN's newest correspondent, Ryan Woods, tell it, to tell us more. Hey LHS, I'm Ryan with your weekly forecast. It's been a rainy week as we experience the remnants of Hurricane Laura, but I'm happy to report sunny and cooler days are ahead. We will finally get a hint of fall. As you know, this week we play rival Mount Juliet for Friday Night Lights action, and it is going to be a beautiful night. The rain will move out right before kickoff and expect a high of 85 and a cool evening with a low of 62. Throughout the Labor Day weekend, expect highs in the mid to high 80s and lows in the mid to high 60s with no chance of rain. It's a great way to tell summer goodbye. That's all for your weekend forecast. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ryan. Girls Varsity Soccer plays at Smyrna at 5.30 on Thursday night. Girls Soccer is selling t-shirts, so stop by the bank for more information. The girls' varsity volleyball team won Monday night against Independence High School. The Lady Devils won in three games with the scores 25-19, 25-18, and 25-10. The Lady Devils were laid by Avery Harris, Addie Grace Porter, and Kendall Arnold. The girls' JV1 team won in three games against Independence High School, and the girls' JV2 team won in two games against Independence High School. The overall record for the varsity Lady Devils is 5-2, and the district record is 3-1. The Lady Devils play at Mount Juliet High School on Thursday, September 3rd at 4.30. Go Lady Devils! Let's check in with Logan for our weekly sports update. Welcome back, Blue Devils. We hope you're having a great week. My name is Logan, and this is your sports news. Tuesday night, the Vegas Golden Knights faced off against the Vancouver Canucks in a crucial Game 5. Vancouver looked to keep their hopes alive as they battled it out in a hard-fought game. They forked out the victory by a score of 2-1 and forced a Game 6 Thursday night. As we take a look at the East, after dropping Game 1 to the Boston Bruins, the Tampa Bay Lightning came all the way back with four consecutive wins to punch their ticket to the Eastern Conference Final. This game required double overtime as they won their Game 5 matchup by a score of 3-2. This is their first trip back to the Conference Final since 2018, as they await their opponent as the Islanders-Flyers series is still underway. 
Monday night, we saw another heavyweight Central Division matchup between the Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado exploded for an immaculate first period, tallying five goals within the first 14 minutes of the game. Moving forward to Game 6, Nathan McKinnon continued his stride as he extended his point streak to 14 games. The Avalanche secured the victory by a score of 4-1, to one, and they have rallied all the way back into the series as they tied up at three games apiece. They will prepare for a winner-take-all Game 7 on Friday. We have lots of NBA action for you guys, so let's dive straight into it. The Celtics are continuing their surge in the East. After sweeping the 76ers, the Celtics had a whole week to prepare for the Toronto Raptors. Boston won Game 1 in fashion with a 112-94 victory and secured a quick 2-0 series lead with a 102-99 dub in Game 2. Game 3 will be Thursday night at 5.30. That's all I have for your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Logan. Hey, Zach, guess what week it is? It's game week. That's right. This Friday, we'll be playing a longtime rivals, Mount Julia at Mount Julia. Kickoff is at 7. And here's the student section leader, Lyndon Palmer, for more details. Good morning, Blue Devils. Good morning. I'm here with Pap. Howdy. We're reporting live from my house, thanks to China. Uh, but I'm making this video in regards to August 21st against Gallatin. I don't know if any of you remember that game. Probably not, because we had about 17 and a half people there. Facts. But, 17 uh, and a half. We ended up losing. We lost that game. But that's that's not on our football team, is it? Not at all. Nope. It's on us, because we didn't show up. We weren't loud enough. And that's got to change against MJ. You know, big school rivals. You know, I'm tired of losing to MJ. I'm so tired of it, you know? I want to win this year. And, you know, the football boys, I talk to them. They're ready to go. They're buzzing. They're ready. Now, that means we got to be out there and we got to be loud cheering on our boys so they can bring home the dub for us. You know, it's it's been 11 years, Pap. 11. You know that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, 11. 11 years. But it's time to start a new streak. Streak for our Blue Devils. So, you know, theme is wide out. Everybody, we're all white. All white. All white, baby. And uh, if you haven't bought a ticket yet, hop on that right I don't know now. what you're doing. It, like, if you're in school watching this video, get on your phone. I don't care what the rules are. You're getting on your phone and you're ordering that ticket. Sorry, principals, but that's how it is. Because, you know, we need more people at the games. We need them. We need 50, 60 plus, you know. Because, so. you know, the boys are buzzing. We got to be buzzing, too. They Let's go. They can't buzz without Let's us. Let's go, Blue Devils. Signing off. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. That's all the news we have for you today, LHS. I'm Noel. And I'm Zach. Have a great Labor Day weekend.